Hello and welcome back to VAP Tutorials. In this lesson I'll focus on applying digital makeup in a non-destructive way and using props. Uh, for this lesson I prepared two photos. One is a, of a model and the other one is of a butterfly. Uh, both of these were acquired from Stock Exchange and the only thing I did is basically erase the background um, around the butterfly uh, which was the white background I extracted the butterfly and uh, all, all we're gonna do we're just gonna select everything go into edit copy and we're gonna paste that butterfly right on the top of our um, right on the top of our model if you need help with working with uh, extracting different uh, backgrounds and so on and so forth you can refer to other uh, videos that we have and other tutorials that we have now we're gonna press control T on our keyboard and start rotating that butterfly and adjusting its size so it matches the photograph okay at the same time we can just hit control T one more time holding down control on your keyboard let's grab onto one of those anchors and let's transform that butterfly in in three-dimensional space so it's it looks a little bit flatter it, it looks as if it's actually sitting on the top of our models um, hair now let's go ahead and name that layer as as a butterfly layer so now we're gonna double click on the name and just name it butterfly now let's create a new layer and now we're gonna talk about non-destructive way of applying makeup let's name this layer eyes we're gonna go ahead and use a brush tool for that purpose increase the size of your brush by right clicking on the on the screen and let's say selecting 65 diameter depending on the size of your photo and we're gonna change the blending mode of our layer to color but just in a second so you can see what that what's the difference um, in a normal mode when you paint let's say around the eyes you're gonna see that it's a very solid color and obviously it does not look natural but if we change the blending mode to color now all that happens is that the color overlays on the top of the original background now let's go ahead and erase the area areas that uh, didn't quite uh, we didn't quite uh, uh, make them uh, turn out too good so I painted over oh, too much uh, a little bit so I'm using just a regular eraser tool and now let's go ahead and create a brand new layer one more time and we're gonna name this uh, let's say around eyes now we're gonna apply a makeup around the models eyes increase the size of the brush and obviously you really don't have to be too precise when applying uh, such makeup just because we can we can go ahead and, and uh, erase a lot of that and apply filter um, to to these areas and you can see that obviously uh, now it doesn't look too natural but whenever you're applying uh, makeup around the eyes um, all you have to do is just make sure that let's say the pupil and the center of the eye is not uh, covered and we're gonna erase some some uh, extra areas a little bit later but let's change the color blending mode to overlay what overlay does it adds both of the colors together so the color that we painted with the blue gets added to our background layer and now let's go ahead and erase some of these areas that uh, that are obviously um, a little bit too wide so we don't want any makeup to show up on let's say the um, eye eyebrows and selecting bigger brush will allow you to blend in a lot of that uh, color and make the transitions between the makeup a little bit smoother also for the same purpose we can apply a filter that's called uh, Gaussian blur so going into filter blur Gaussian blur and now you can see that um, if we go all the way to the left uh, it's very sharp it's distinct uh, colorization but if we increase the size of that radius of that uh, uh, blur what it's gonna do it's gonna really smooth out um, that transition uh, and make the makeup look a little bit more natural now we can go back in here and let's just go ahead and erase some of these areas over the over the eyebrows one more time and now let's let's just create a brand new layer and call it say lips and we're gonna colorize the lips using the same brush again you don't have to be super precise just paint over the area that you want to colorize Now let's go ahead and change that to color, the blending mode, erase the areas that we don't want.
and also apply let's apply the Gaussian blur one more time so it transitions um, so that effect transitions pretty nicely let's click OK and let's go ahead and erase some of the other um, areas on the outside of the lips to get rid of the uh, blue shadow that uh, was created after applying th that uh, filter effect and um, obviously with the lips you want them to appear natural so we can decrease the opacity of that layer to let's say 40 or 50 percent to uh, to add a little bit of uh, tint the nice thing with working with non-destructive non-destructive makeup is every time you apply a makeup we can also unclick the effect and see how it would look without the effect being applied so just using the um, eyes right next to your layers we can just click on them and and just go ahead and remove everything we, that we added into the photograph now let's go ahead and colorize the uh, the hair or create some hair highlight let's go into our brush change the blending mode to color increase the size of a brush to let's say about 200 or let's say 100 and let's let's just highlight these brighter areas of the hair And just following the contours that the highlight, the original highlights are in our models, uh, models hair. We're just gonna go right ahead and and paint over. Now let's use a eraser tool and let's let's just go ahead and erase some of the um, bottom portions of these highlights so they they appear a little bit more natural. And at the same time, we're going to apply that um, Gaussian blur also to make uh, make these areas blend in uh, a little bit more. And I would suggest using any any uh, some sort of a radius of let's say any anywhere between five and fifteen um, uh, to to blend in these these areas. And now the last thing we, what we can do, we can just go ahead and change the background color also. So uh, really quick tutorial on that. Um, select your background layer use a magic uh, wand tool and what magic wand tool does is just selects the colors that are of the same uh, parameter so obviously we're selecting the greens now to make sure that the transition uh, uh, between the background and the model is smooth we're gonna go into select modify the feather and a radius of let's say 10 uh, should be sufficient let's go into edit adjustments hue and saturation and then we're going to change the hue into more of a bluer spectrum that matches the picture and let's let's decrease the saturation uh, quite a bit so that the model actually stands out from the photograph now let's click OK let's click deselect and see how that turned out also at the same time what you can do is whenever you let's say change the color of the hair you can also change the color of that highlight itself just because it's a separate layer so if you don't like the highlight you can just unclick it and remove it or you can just go ahead and um, adjust the saturation and the hue of these highlights as well so let's go into image adjust hue and moving that slider from one side to another you can see that right now we're in the red spectrum um, now we can change the color to basically anything anything we want um, and uh, using using non-destructive way of applying makeup is a really easy way to, of working with photographs and applying cool effects without actually altering the original picture thank you for watching this tutorial please stop by at our website and uh, post your comments if you uh, if you enjoyed uh, uh, these lessons thank you